Hello, Facebook. I see you. How are we doing for YouTube? There we go. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Looks like we've got YouTube to the party now, too. Or, I just told you guys happy Friday. That's because this is my Friday. I'm taking tomorrow off. I won't be live tomorrow at noon. I'll be sure to say that again a little bit more down the down the road here. Give you guys some time to find me. All right. It is Easter weekend and my assistant is off today and tomorrow and so I'm going to do today live and then I will see you guys back here next week. I'm going to take Good Friday off. All right, I think I just found myself in YouTube here. Now let's see if I can find me in Facebook. There we go. I think it got me everywhere. All right, how is everybody? Happy Thursday, not happy Friday, sorry. <laughs> it just feels like Friday. Hey, Melanie, thanks for the comment. Thanks for the quick comment. All right, say hello. Let me know you're here. Let me know if you can hear me. <laughs> happy Easter. Thank you, Jessica, you too. Hi, Nancy, hi, Gian. Hello, everybody, happy Thursday. All right, so a little bit of housekeeping first things first I'm not gonna be here tomorrow at noon I was thinking about doing it but then I started to get a really good picture of what I have to get done in order to be ready for the incentive trip all right so there's a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about um, paper samplers in color clubs card club there's so much that needs to get done for that and so I thought with it being a holiday week and everything that's going on I was gonna I'm live today and then I'm gonna take tomorrow off and then I'll be back next week on my regularly scheduled Friday at noon okay so just a little housekeeping there thank you for liking and sharing Melanie that's how we grow oh my goodness hey V from Southern California I'm glad you're here <laughs> did you have a hard time fi finding me you said finally I had a hard time finding myself today too. All right, hey Marla, happy Thursday. Hi Tony, thank you for liking and sharing all those likes, shares, comments, reactions. They help to grow this channel. Tagging a friend who would like this content, sharing all of those things really do help grow the channel and we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Us Alvarezes, you guys really do support a real family when you do things that support this business, whether it's subscribe to our Card Club for Cool People, you guys see the sneak peek here, or um, tag a friend or share the content. It means so much to us when you place orders, all those things, so thank you. But for this stream, if you guys keep those reactions coming, if you think it's funny, laugh. If you love it, give a heart, give those thumbs up, make comments, talk to each other get to know each other it's really um, it really does it shows both Facebook and YouTube that we have engaging content they're more likely to help the girl out a little bit and show my demographic this content if you guys interact with it and show that it's engaging so thank you for those things keep them coming throughout the video if you're not um, subscribed or following please do those things just tap the button and subscribe or um, become a follower, uh, like the page. Those things really, really help too. They're absolutely free, but they really do help my business. So do those things, you guys. Hey, Gail, I'm glad you're here. Gail, thank you for your kind review of Card Club for Cool People. If you guys haven't seen in the craft social, Gail gave us some really um, glowing words. So if you don't know about our Card Club for Cool People, it'll lead right in perfectly for some card um, housekeeping here. We are getting ready to go to Mexico for the incentive trip. And so we're working on behind the scenes both April Card Club and May Card Club at the same time. So April 
is the trusty tools and we are limited how many to go and concierge packets we can make we're not limited how many um, online only so um, but we are limited by the paper how many trusty tools packets we can make so what we're doing is we're just giving everybody the heads up April 5th is you can sign up for card club till April 5th while supplies last for trusty tools now here is our trusty tools card club for cool people I don't want to give too much away because you guys pay for this content so I don't want to just flash it all over the internet but there is a um, exclusive sketch that won't be seen anywhere else and nine cards that this class packet will make and you have until April 9th there's a description join card club for cool people click here you can do that right from the description of this video this content will release on or about April 20th so it bills on the 5th we cut and pack and prep and video and write directions and then release that on or about the 20th of the month so you've got until the 5th while supplies last if you want to join us for this one if you are a card club for cool people member or previous member you got an email I gave everybody previous um, subscribers the first chance to get back in for the limited number of packets that we have and the option to add the trusty tools bundle or the diamond plate the uh, metal plate embossing folder that we're using today so look out in your email to add that bundle you can every month around the last week of the previous month so card club bills on the fifth the last week of the previous month, you'll get a sneak peek and the option to add the bundle or the embossing folder or both to your packet. All right, so if you're a card club member and you're looking for the Trusty Tools bundle added onto your packet or the metal plate embossing folder or both, check your email, you have links to add those things on. All right, so that's our that's our housekeeping for card club. Oh, uh, hey, oh, Sonia, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for sharing. That really does help the channel. Subscribing and following helps our Facebook page and our channel also. Hey Trish, I'm glad you're here. Rhonda, thanks for thanks for tagging Trish. Hi, hi you guys. Um, happy Thursday everybody. I was just saying earlier, if you're just joining us, this is gonna be my only live this week. Um, I'm just looking at all the work that needs to be done to release a catalog while I'm in Mexico. And it's, overwhelming so and we're on a holiday weekend I think a lot of you are preparing for Easter and things like that too so I'm taking Friday off of live I'm not taking Friday off of work so if you need me reach out but um, I'm not gonna go live uh, let's see here I'm gonna browse up here hey Linda how are you my friend happy Thursday all right, let's see. Marla says, this is such a cute bundle. I can't wait to see my card kit for cool people. I just gave her a sneak peek. It's a, it's a good one. It might be, well, the bees were good and the blueberries were good and the cows were good. The tools might only be my favorite because that's what I'm working with right now, <laughs> but they're really good. And here we have a bonus project with the uh, trusty tools here too. So when you get your card club for cool people, you're gonna get a full spool of this um, faux linen or faux leather trim you're gonna get a full pack of the cork you're gonna get a half a pack of the designer series paper so you're gonna have more of these things than you need for your cards you're gonna make nine cards but then you're gonna have all so what do you do with it well you make this card you kiko daro's easy 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 easel card i don't know if you guys in the craft social noticed that i had pinned you kiko's card but I did, it's in the featured section. I'll show you guys in just a minute. We're gonna make her card today. So this is what we're making. A cool, trusty tools, happy Father's Day card. And then inside, you're the most awesome dad, but it's the easy easel. So it folds and then the dad holds it. So now it says, happy Father's Day, dad. You're the most awesome. All right, so that's our card today. This is totally inspired by Yukiko Daro and the Craft Social. And if you don't know the Craft Social, let me show you. All right, so if I just click over to here and then I click over to here, you should be looking at my computer screen right now, which is in the Kitchen Table Steeper Craft Social. If you're not a member in the Craft Social, please come and join us. You're welcome anytime to um, share your projects made with your Stampin' Up! supplies. 
We just ask that you use primarily Stampin' Up, you don't link away, you don't promote yourself, any other demonstrator or a craft company, and no buy, sell, trade. If you can follow those rules, come be a part of our community. So you'll see there's lots of ideas shared all the time. There are challenges every week. Your challenge this week is to make Yukiko's card. Up in the featured section right here, you'll see here's Yukiko's card. Leave her some love. Let her know that um, you appreciate her contributions. I sure do. I'm making her card today and check it out. So all are welcome in the craft social. We'd love to have you there. Um, and also in the featured section, we have our um, previous week's challenge. So last week we did a um, color, color challenge. So check it out. If you're looking for some inspiration for your stamping, there's our color challenge from last week. Every week we have a new challenge and we'd love to see what you make with the featured easel card for this week and last week was our color combo. You can play the challenges anytime. We issue challenges on Thursdays and then you have till Tuesday to play. All right, so let's go back to our hands here. I'm getting better at that screen sharing stuff but come join us in the in the craft social <laughs> B, thank you for sharing i so appreciate it all right you guys so let's um see here we talked about no facebook live on friday i'll be back next friday at noon we talked about card club i have limited numbers of packets that i can do so get on that if you want to we will um shut off the um to go and the concierge the difference is we have online only. It's just the videos, PDFs, pictures, and printable resources. There's an exclusive sketch and a um, wonder recipe. So you get those digital content for $22.95 or $24.95 if you miss a month and you want to go back and get just the content you want. The um, to-go level includes all of the digital content plus a class packet that includes, like I showed you, the full package of embellishments, the full spool of leather, half a pack of paper, your card kits for nine kits. The concierge level includes all of that plus the exclusive sketch laminated and ready to go in your binder. All right, so that's the difference. $22.95 digital only. $44.95 with the packet, $46.95 with the laminated sketch. Um, we can only do so many of the to-go and concierge this month though. All right, so that's our housekeeping, I think. I don't think I have any other housekeeping for you. If it comes to me, then, then we'll do more at the end or in the middle when I remember it or whatever. All right, so for Yukiko's card, we're going to, let's open this guy up. We're gonna set this guy aside and we're gonna start with some pebbled path. There will be a clean video for this as soon as we're done and a printable project sheet at kitchentablestamper.com. Okay, so we've got our um, eight and a half by five and a half. And it is, so standard, you're gonna start with a standard card base, which is nice. And then you're gonna score at four and a quarter, just like a standard card. And then on the front of the card, you'll score at two and one eighth. So that's the easy easel card. It really is super easy. And Yukiko shared the measurements right along with her pictures, which I thought was very inspiring and very generous. All right, so let's give this a little fold with a bone folder. Trish says, my VBS this year is kids under construction. How fun will it be to make cards for the workers? Oh my goodness, that'll be so awesome. How perfect is that? Gail says, I can't wait for April Card Club for Cool People. Oh, thank you. Gail, welcome to the club, and thank you for your, for your kind words about it. We really do. We try very hard to make sure every card club is just so much fun and, and a good value, everything else. All right, so we are going to fold this one on the four and a quarter, like you would a standard fold, top fold card. And then you're gonna fold on that two and an eighth in, and this is your easy easel card. It doesn't get any easier than that, does it? All right, so this is a very good, a very good one to, um, if you like a fun fold, but a fun fold that isn't a construction project. Maybe 
<laughs> you like your tool cards not to be a construction project. All right, I've got really, really slow comments on YouTube. I don't see them at all on one device, and they're kind of slow on the other device. So if you're there on YouTube, give me a couple of comments, a little bit of something. Interact with me a bit here so I can tell if it's YouTube acting funny or um, if you guys are just really that quiet. So give me some, give me some comments. What are you guys doing for the... For the weekend, do you celebrate Easter? And um, what are your plans? How about that? That'll give you guys some stuff to talk about. All right, well, you guys are answering my question. I'm going to emboss this piece of gray granite cardstock. It is two, hold on, I wrote it down. I shouldn't know because I've got a project sheet, but um, this one is two by five and three eighths. And I'm gonna do the metal plate embossing folder. Melanie says, happy Easter, glad you're taking a well-deserved break. I just need some, some quiet, um, some time to think and plan. And uh, the other thing I wanna know from you guys, besides what your plans are for this weekend, for Easter, if you're celebrating, what you do, what's your favorite Easter tradition, those kinds of things. I also wanna know if you're interested in an in-color club. Desi, are you opening YouTube? No, would you yeah because yeah, I'm getting no comments on either device and I just can't believe that there's no comments even Facebook is kind of slow you guys on Facebook tell me too what what you doing for Easter what's your favorite tradition um, what are you doing this weekend do you celebrate oh there you go Facebook's moving a little bit <laughs> Trish says church with my family and I made cards for all the ladies in a small church oh how beautiful Jessica says, going to have Easter dinner with my family on Saturday. Also going to a concert on Sunday evening. Ooh, what kind of concert? That sounds like fun. All right, let me get this guy in there and give it a crank. Um, how about uh, number four? Because this is a 3D. All right, so this is the one that I used for Card Club, this metal plate. I'll show you how it looks. You can add it to your Card Club if you want to. You got an email with a link to do that. Um, the Timber 3D embossing folder would work really good with this one. Um, there was one from uh, a few years ago that went with a tool suite. I forget what it was, um, like nuts and bolts or something. Hexagons, like hexagon bolts. Um, the Pinewood planks would work really well, but if you want the metal plate, that's it. Pretty cool, right? You can add that one on. I'm also using the Timber 3D embossing folder in Card Club. So there's your there's your heads up. I'm going to be using both, but you can use the Pinewood planks or there's a wood grain one from even before that that will work. You can substitute what you have too. All right, so let me bring my card base back here. Jessica says it's a Swedish artist. He's having a show with all his hits. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Jan says, bringing Easter dinner to my sister in Huntley. Awesome. Let's see. Glue. Glue might be kind of fun. I've been trying to use up some liquid glue. So we'll chit chat if I, if I have to unclog. Okay, so it's not running slow unless it's just not running at all. Um, Tony says, trying to catch up on stamping work. <laughs> as I'm trying to get my stuff back on track. Been watching the kids since we got back from on stage. Um, I've had company almost every day this week. Oh, you're so busy. You're so busy, you're making me anxious. Um, Easter says the crew here on Friday for dinner, 18 of us, before my daughter head back to, heads back to NC, North Carolina, right? Mm, sounds like you're, you got your hands full there, Tony doing Easter at my parents' house on Saturday. They're leaving for a trip. There'll be 13 of us, which is a small crowd. All right, this is going on the front half of the card below the fold. And I've got a piece of the screw paper. And this one is from Celebration. This is the trusty toolbox. Don't worry if you don't didn't get it or didn't get enough. Card Club for Cool People will have a half a pack while supplies last. So plenty to do all your cards and maybe even a couple of these. <laughs> You'll have enough leather, cork, and designer series paper to do a few of these cards too. 
All right, this goes above the fold on the front of the card and centered. So there's our pieces. Now we're going to do this basic white piece is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I have a little piece of the screw paper that's one half by five and one eighth. <laughs> Nancy says, you're on YouTube too. Yes, I'm on both. Well, YouTube seems to be real slow on the comments though. I don't know if it's a YouTube thing or if uh, I just don't have enough viewers over there interacting. So one or the other, something's going on over there. I'll keep flipping over there once in a while and see what happens. Gail says, trying to sign all my Easter cards while you craft. Every church family gets a homemade card on Easter and Christmas. I carry extra to hand out to visitors as well. Oh, that's really <laughs> sweet that you think of that. You have a few extra. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, plans for SU Day was supposed to be leaving for much needed getaway, which fell through. Oh, no. I understand a much needed getaway Gail, I'm feeling it too. I think I'm going to go for a walk <laughs> I, because I'm feeling like I need a little getaway myself. After I'm done, I'm going to go for a walk before I get back to crafting. All right, next up, this seam trusty toolbox paper. I've got this ruler piece. What I found with this ruler piece is I cut them down to six by six and then cut seven eighths of an inch off, which gave me both the metric and the imperial ruler. And then after that first seven eighths of an inch cut, every 13 sixteenths gave me a pretty perfectly centered ruler. So this one is 13 sixteenths by five and a half. And we're gonna apply that to the front of the card and it's gonna cover this seam. Now the thing is we don't wanna glue this, this fold, that's what it's gonna cover. It's gonna cover the fold. We don't wanna glue the fold um, down. We want the glue to be entirely below the fold so that the fold will keep functioning. So what I found is if I put a little bead right along the top of the diamond plate and then a little bead right along the bottom of the ruler, very little, you do not need a lot of glue, and then line this up so that it was over the fold. Then we've only got glue on the bottom half of the ruler we have glue on the top half of the ruler, it's gonna make the fold not functional. So be very careful about that. And you'll see when you fold your easel, the ruler lifts up with that bottom half. All right, so there we go. Then this I'm gonna stamp before I glue it in because if I make any mistakes, I can still fix it. So we'll hold on to that for a second. Hmm, maybe stamping should be our next, um, our next thing. It seems like a good transition to that. So we've got our inside liner. This is a die cut from the brand new Hearts and Hugs uh, bundle. Let me show you that. I have been hard at work with this bundle. <laughs> I love this bundle. Um, Hearts and Hugs bundle. Here it is. This is coming in the new catalog. So um, we were able to pre-order it. If we attended on stage, there's the hearts and hugs. It's got a matching die set, and this is the banner right here that we used. All right, then my last is a scrap of basic white. Nancy says, YouTube is never very chatty, right? It's not. And sometimes it's, it seems a little laggy for me, so it's kind of hard for me to um, keep up with the chats over there. It's a little bit easier to interact with the chats on Facebook. Although I feel like more people actually watch on YouTube. Facebook. Really? Yes. So far you only have like 10 on YouTube and uh -huh. 15 on Facebook. Oh, just in general though. But I'd have to, I'd have to check all my numbers on it. But I think it's, I'll just keep doing both and we'll do the best we can to chat them. It's the tiniest little thing, OCD, that makes your projects perfect, <laughs> right? I can't help it. It's got to be just so. I've always been just so, ever since I was little. All right, Poppy Parade is my only ink for this project, and I'm going to do Dad. Now, I'm going to pop out Dad in a spectacular way. I'm going to use 
an X-Acto knife. There is an X-Acto knife tip for the Take Your Pick tool. I have ordered it since doing this because when I found mine, it is kind of a mess, missing its safety cap, and I don't have any replacement blades. So I did order that, and um, hopefully by the time I do the card club for cool people, I'll have that to show you how it works. It's really awesome. It screws into the putty end of your um, Take Your Pick tool, and then you've got a fantastic X-Acto knife. And I just cut out the center of the D, A, and D, and then cut out my dad with scissors so that it would make a really kind of intricate and fun stopper. So it is a super easy easel card, but I did step it up a little bit with my easel stopper. You could absolutely use like a wrench instead and just put that on dimensional. So you don't have to do the kind of cutting that I did for mine, but I love how the dad, so now you can see I've got the D, A, and D. I did that with my little X-Acto knife and then cut out the dad with scissors. It is connected. I didn't leave it, so I had to line it back up. Do you see? I left it connected. I'll show you it. I'll cut out in just a minute. But I loved the dad there. A wrench would look really cool, but then you'd have Happy Father's Day and you're the most awesome. With the dad there as the stopper, it reads Happy Father's Day, Dad and you're the most awesome dad. So it's up to you how much you want to get into that, you know, kind of fiddly cutting. All right, let me show you my dad because I decided that it, nobody wants to watch me cut that all out, but here it is. And I've got dimensionals on it. So I'm gonna lay that on top of here where I want it to live with enough room because I'm also going to embellish with some of this hardware. So you see I got a little screw there, a nut and bolt over here. So I'm gonna leave it where it's gonna have plenty of room for that on the right side. And then I've got You're the Most Awesome and I'm gonna stamp that one. Now you could stamp it You're the Most Awesome Dad, so it reads in a sentence. You could stamp it directly above, so it reads in you know um, stacked text. Or you can do like I did and do a little bit off center here so that it kind of goes down as at a diagonal. If you do stacked text or at a diagonal like I'm doing, then when you put the easel, you won't see any of the inside greeting. If you make it read across, you're the most awesome dad, then it will read you're the most awesome dad when it's open as an easel also. So keep that in mind when you choose your placement. All right, so that's what I'm going with. And that's all of our stamping. So let me get this out of there. Hey, Gian, I'm glad you're here. You love the card. It's Yukiko Daros. So leave some love on the um, craft social for her. She, um, Yukiko Daro shared her easy easel card with us. And this is my take on her easy easel card. And it is a um, bonus or a warm up for Card Club for Cool People. So if you love this one, you're gonna love the Card Club for April. April 5th is when you can um, have to sign up for Card Club and they are while supplies last because it is the trusty toolbox designer series paper and I have a limited supply of that. So if you're considering it and you wanna have a to-go packet or concierge packet, uh, get in there and um, get your subscription or reactivate your subscription if you're somebody who's been a previous member. Uh, because we only have so many of those that we can do and they will be first come first serve. But this is the, a project that you can make with the extra paper, an extra faux leather trim, and extra cork rounds that you get from Card Club. So just a little bonus, bonus inspiration. All right, so I've got my dad already on dimensionals and I'm going to get that on the inside of the card. All right. Gia says, hello, stamping friends. I'm late to the party. We're glad you're here, and I love the way you greet everybody. <laughs> Jan says, I don't know how to comment on YouTube. Technically challenged. <laughs> Hi. I'm glad you're here on Facebook commenting. 
Oh, goodness. So, all right. I would like to know your thoughts, whether you're watching now or you'll catch it on the replay. You can always email me or if you Facebook message me, Facebook message me, not the business. Um, Marissa Alvarez, not kitchen table stamper. For some reason, I can never find the kitchen table stamper messages. So I guess I'm pretty um, technology challenged too. But um, let me know what you think about an in-color club. I'm considering an in-color club. We're going to do a paper sampler, um, but we're also considering an in-color club this year. And um, it kind of sparked from the conversation uh, Rhonda Sarver had started on the Craft Social about, you know, what do you do when some of your go-to colors are retiring? And, you know, do you stock up or do you just um, let them go? Do you say farewell and move on? What do you do with them? She, had, she was asking and I was like, you know what? Um, and I had said that I usually will, the colors I really love, I'll buy a reinker and a pack of paper or two just so that, you know, I still have access if I want to make something. But mostly I just embrace the new inco incoming colors. And so, you know, we're talking about that. And then I know that um, t uh, behavior usually is um, with, with most customers is either going to be that the collectors and want it all and get all the in colors and don't even bat an eye but there's also the people who just kind of need to make friends with the in colors first right they need to um, figure out what colors they look good with um, get a feel for how much they might really use those colors and then only buy the ones that they like um, so we were, we were talking about that and I said well maybe we need to consider like an in color club that acquaints the the new in colors with the core colors. Like we actually uh, focus on how to use the in colors, what colors are their buddies and stuff like that. So we were just kind of chatting about that on the craft social and it got me thinking about an in color club. And the, fo the focus of the in color club would be yes to get all of the in colors. And I think we'd do it at two levels where you could just kind of get um, some of the things or then you could get that I want it all level and each month we would focus on how do we get you acquainted with the in color itself and help find the color buddies within the core colors. So if that's something that interests you, let me know um, whether you put it in the comments or you send me a message or you send me an email can always email me but if you message me in Facebook use use Marissa Alvarez and I'll try to keep an eye on my message requests there Facebook Messenger is the worst place to get a hold of me by the way you're welcome to text call email and if you use Facebook Messenger then use the personal and not the business because I most of the time can't even find the business messenger all right so I've got my leather trim I put a knot on one end and I've got some glue dots um, Rhonda says, I think a color club sounds interesting. Awesome. And color is one of my favorite things. And it is something that I get comments on all the time that I, I use color in ways that other people don't think of. Like people do comment all the time on the way that I use color. So I love in colors and I love new colors every year. But um, I got to know how you guys feel about it. All right, so I put my little leather trim on the back of my banner with a glue dot, and I need enough to tie a knot there. So I'm going to trim that away from the spool and then tie a little knot on the other end. Oh, Nancy says, count me in for in color club. And Rhonda says, most people tell me my color choices are interesting. <laughs> um, Rhonda. I think that um, you have very Rhonda color choices. Like I can pick out your projects because your color choices. That's, there's no doubt about it, but that's me too. You know, we all kind of have a little bit of a style, but there are definitely things that you can do when choosing colors to have, have success, even if you're not comfortable or you don't feel like you have a color style. Jan's in for color, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, let's see. I'm catching up on these. Um, GM loves the card. Thank you. I think that's where I left off. Uh, uh oh, there, there's conversation there going back and forth about, will I see you tonight? Mm hmm. 
I don't know what you guys are doing. Hopefully it's crafty and fun. <laughs> All right. Um, Rhonda says, okay, you add in the glue to the tiny piece while still on the putty tip is blowing my mind. Well, don't worry. I'll be giving you some tips on doing that because we're going to put some on the outside of the card too. And there is a trick to it. It's a very simple trick, but it makes life so easy. All right, so I've got my other knot at the right length. I got a glue dot right there. I'm going to put that down. And that's our greeting all embellished with... And that is how you do trim on a man card, I think. Knots? Rhonda inspires the knots. Rhonda's, Rhonda inspires the knots. I want to put bows on everything. All right, we got to do some die cutting. There's no avoiding it any longer. <laughs> this card will do all the die cutting in two passes. All right, let me show you. We're going to do the pegboard, wrench, the pliers, the hardware, and the drill pieces. You'll run everything, and then you'll have to run a second drill and a second set of hardware. So two passes through the machine, everything you need for this card. It really is pretty simple. Um, and it goes pretty quick because of that. We're gonna grab this and lay out some pieces here. Um, yes, it is crafty and fun. Um, Jackie says, my mom called right when I was ready to turn on your live. Hello, finally. Well, I'm glad you're here. Did you see your Kikudaro's easy easel card? I'll show you what we're making again after I do the die cutting for it. All right, so let me see. I need to fit everything all in one pass because that's how I roll. You guys know. You guys know me. You know that I think it's winning. If I can fit everything all in one pass. Now, all of this is scraps except for the copper clay. The copper clay is 2 and 7 sixteenths by 3 and 13 sixteenths. Why? Because I think it is the perfect size for the pegboard. The pegboard and the trusty tools does not cut out the rectangle, the edges. It only cuts the holes. So if you want the perfect size piece of pegboard, you got to venture into the 16th territory and 2 and 7 16ths by 3 and 13 16ths. And that will be in the project sheet, so don't worry about it. But you get an equal top, bottom, right, left margin that way. And so I will brave 16th territory for such a perfect margin. All right, now we also need, where's my die sheet? I've got the wrench and the pliers and the hardware and the details for the drill which are this and then like the drill bit and now that's kind of close to the edge there let me see if i can squeeze that in a little bit and then the handle for the pliers and then the drill now i'm going to run the drill once by the magic of television on poppy parade and then once, right here for you guys to see on Lost Lagoon. And I'm going to now very gingerly add my cover because I don't want my pegboard to move and give it a crank. So this is everything you need to make the card except for a second set of hardware and then the other color for the drill base. And we're just gonna give it a crank it without tearing the microphone off of my shirt. One of these days I'm really going to get myself a wireless microphone. It's just so easy to keep using the same one. All right, so here is our pegboard. So see what I mean? It is just perfectly centered. You've got that piece of pegboard. Sorry about the 16th, but it really is perfect. You could probably do it one more sixteenth, which would be two and a half by three and, what's 14 sixteenths? Seven eighths. They'd have a little bit bigger border. But I liked the sixteenths. I'm sorry, what can I say? How do you guys feel about sixteenths? That's the next topic of conversation. <laughs> Rhonda says, I've used wire instead of ribbon or thread on masculine cards. Brilliant, brilliant. I love it. Um, your last color challenge stretched me in a good way. I like to hear that. Um, I had heard a little bit about the balmy blue being kind of 
difficult for some of you guys to use in that color combination. So yay, that's exactly what those challenges are for, my friend. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, here is our wrench and our drill bit, the details for our drill. I got two sides for the plier along with the handles, some more hardware. All right, so now we are going to grab the designer series paper and use that for our inspiration. He knows I forgot to grab a pack of that paper. Will you grab it for me from right down at the end of the table? All right, we're gonna start with the drill. So to make this very easy, I'm gonna just grab my drill pieces no, the tools, and slide everything else aside for now. Slide everything else aside. And then here's our paper, and you can see our drill. So if you wanted to just cut the Lost Lagoon and the Poppy Parade and the Grey Granite and cut, glue them together, rearrange them, that would be fabulous. In fact, pretty darn cool. But if you want to step it up just a little bit, you're going to use a Stampin' Write marker. And we're going to need two of our drill in two different colors. So here is my Poppy Parade drill. Now, Jackie says, I use 16 when I scrapbook. I use four and five sixteenths all the time. I usually say to myself, four and a quarter inch plus a dash. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Me too. Uh, how many, how many, how many, how many dashes do I need? And I count along. Okay, yeah, that's that's eleven. Okay, that's thirteen. <laughs> I count the dashes too. <laughs> I have a meme for this. I'll have to remember to post it after I'm done. <laughs> uh Let's see, I'm gonna bring this in here just in case you're just joining us. This is Yukiku Daro's Easy Easo card. And it has been very easy so far, right? It's a standard card, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, opens on the top, but with one little extra fold and an element up on dimensionals, you get a great easel card. And we wanna see yours. If you make this easel card between now and Tuesday, you know what, maybe we should make it between now and like Thursday because it's a holiday weekend. Let's give this challenge an entire week. So between now and next Thursday, share it on the craft social. I will put a picture of this card and ask for your easy easel cards uh, to be considered for prize patrol, okay? And I pinned Yukiko Daro's card, so leave her some love too. So we are going to take our drill pieces and just very simply add a little bit of detail. You're gonna be surprised how easy this is. You're gonna use the edge of your Stampin' Write marker and you're gonna black the edge of your pieces. Really simple. So we've got our base. We're gonna do the same with our drill bit. You don't do this long side because that's where you're gonna glue. So save yourself the effort, just do the edges of the bit, and then the top and bottom edge. And when you do this, you want to, for a little bit wider line, hold your marker parallel to the table. Then you'll get a wider line on the top so it looks like it's outlined instead of just blacking the edge. Just take your time, you can add more, you can't take it off but that's gonna give you an outline all the way around, almost like you had stamped it. Now, for the little things like the details here, grab your reverse tweezers and do the same thing. Just makes it fast and simple. Now, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. These dies with the paper piece elements are so cool, but I saw the designer series paper and took the inspiration, and this does not take but a little bit of effort. So here's the trigger for the drill, and we're going to get that one, and you see with this um, reverse tweezers, it's easy to even get the smallest little details. It holds it for you, 
and then you just brush the edge. Now, you just want to go slow because you don't want to um, put a big wide black line because you can't get it off of there. But you can go back if it's not wide enough and just angle the marker so that's a little bit flatter, so it's a little bit more parallel to the table and you can add a little bit more but you can't take it off. Now you're going to have one drill as your base and one as your details. The one with the details you're going to go up right along here. You see there's a cut that the die makes right here. You can see my scissors. So that's already cut for you from the die. So you're gonna trim right there. And then you're gonna go to this little loop-de-swoop right here. And then you're gonna go to this end right here. And there's your piece. Now you're going to go here, like where this little battery pack is, there's another cut. See, my scissors just went through that cut. Then you're gonna trim like the handle up and remove the little battery pack. Okay, so now you've got one drill that's in three pieces. So you can take one base color and you can use these and make a blue and red drill like we have here. And you can use this right here on a different base and make a red and blue drill. So from each one that you cut off the details, you're gonna get two. And so for every one that you cut up, you wanna cut two bases. Make sense? All right, so I've already done the same thing. Oh, look at this one. This one I cut differently. That's okay, and cut right along the front there. But I already did the marker on this one, so we're gonna go with this piece. All right, so we've cut up our drill. We've got our marker around. Now we can assemble with a little bit of liquid glue. Um, where'd I put my glue? There it is. <laughs> Rhonda says, squeezers, trust me on this. <laughs> right, squeezers? <laughs> I've never heard them called squeezers, the reverse tweezers, right? Um, Jackie's glad her mom called even though the timing could have been better. I kept meaning to call her, right? Isn't that good? It is also good to know that the phone works both ways, right? It's nice when, when they give a call and just make sure you're okay, especially when you've been meaning to call and meaning to call. That's all right. We can catch you up on the replay. And there is a clean, um, video already recorded for this that'll be posted right after. So if you just wanna catch up on the project alone, you can catch that replay uh, or that clean video. All right, so we've got our little detail for the trigger. This is where I'm gonna get my take your pick tool. Then I'm gonna grab, see some of them I tape closed because I'm tired of turning them back. I use the take your pick, like the pick part the most. So I tape them closed, but I do try to keep one loose so that I can take off the pick end because the pick end is really nice for getting it to release. So we've got the trigger on the putty end. We're gonna touch it to that glue and then we're gonna use the pick end to pull away from the putty. So there's our little piece right where it should be. And then for this guy over here, we're going to go along the straight edge with a little touch of glue and then glue to our drill. Now we gotta give that just a second to dry, and let me show you. So we did, for the wrench, the same little outline, oh, the same little outline, and then we used the fine point to do some details. So there's our wrench, and then our pliers, we're gonna do the same outline around the parts, right? and then we're gonna glue them together. So I'm not gonna do the outline, that would be just way too much to watch, but we want to outline and then put our handles on. So, oh, I got a sticky finger that keeps flinging these things around, there. So each one of those is going to get a handle. And once you've got them outlined, and glued together, then they look like that. 
a little bit of details on there. So there's our plier pieces. I'm going to show you something else really fun in just a minute. Stay tuned. All right, now for our drill, it's dry. And we're going to take the right end of our Stampin' Right marker and simple, couple little lines on the trigger. Right here where the die leaves an impression, we're going to follow that. Couple little lines. And then we're going to follow these cuts just right over them with the bullet tip of your Stampin' Right. And then for some little texture, we're going to go right along here and do a little bit of lines. And I'm just used the designer series paper, the artists lines kind of as my inspiration. It's really simple and the best advice I can give you is just own it. Just take a deep breath and own it and it will turn out great. <laughs> so there's all of our tools and our pegboard. Now, one more little bit of fun. Are you guys ready for this? I'm gonna grab my stamp and pierce mat. <laughs> Marla says, wow, what a difference the detail adds to the die cut, right? And not that it's not completely adorable, just cut in the different colors because that paper piecing really is great detail. But when you get the um, stamp and write marker and you just take a deep breath and own it, use the artist as your inspiration. You're not making this up yourself. You're looking at the paper. Look at, I really did. Just took the, see the little lines on the drill? I just followed the artist's inspiration. So I didn't even have to come up with it myself. You just have to take a deep breath and say, okay, I'm gonna do it. All right, so we've got our pliers put together with the one with the hole on top, and I'm gonna pierce through the bottom one. And then I'm gonna grab one of these little dots and squares. Now these are about to go on clearance, you guys. So if you've got the Trusty Tools bundle, or if you're gonna get the Trusty Tools bundle, pick up some of these when they go on clearance because you are gonna just love this. All right, next thing I need, and this is optional, it's a little side cutter, it's orange handle, so I bet you it came from the Home Depot. It's probably like one of their dollar bin. You know how Michaels has the dollar bin <laughs> for ribbons and stuff? I think the Home Depot has the dollar ninety nine bins for little tools. I think that's where my husband got them for me. Little side cutters. You're gonna take this brad, look at how long those legs are. Do you see that? So we don't wanna have to hide that. We're gonna thread through the one that was die cut. We're going to thread through that hole that we just made. Now we've got our pliers, but it's still got that really long legs. So you're going to hold the brad with your index finger of your non-dominant hands, right? And put it down. Okay. Grab your side cutters. You're going to go about halfway on the legs of the brad, you see? And then you're going to put your non-dominant hand over and cut. You don't want to just cut this because if those fling, you don't want that going back in your eye and you don't want that on the floor for you to step on later. So hold the brand in place and put it on the table. Position the side cutters, cut with your hand over the top, just cupped over the top to stop those from going anywhere. Now you've got a brads with short little legs that are gonna be much easier to hide. Take the spatula end of your take your pick tool right in between those two little brad and then bend. And then once you've got them open, see, you've got them open. Now you can put them, position them so that they are behind one of the handles. Grab your bone folder and then just press them down so that they're nice and flat. And then you don't hurt your fingers pressing on those metal. Okay, so there's your brad. Now look at this. You ready for this? Wah, 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 wah. I know, worth the price of admission, right? <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna glue it to the pegboard even though we made a working set of pliers. 
but you could absolutely take the toolbox that's included in the die set, make a pocket, and then those little working pliers could go in the pocket and come off and actually be played with. Okay? <laughs> Marla's a sound effects, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh gosh, sometimes there's just, I don't know what to say about me. Sometimes it comes out my mouth before my brain even <laughs> catches up. All right, so working squeezers, but we are gonna glue them to the pegboard for this particular card. But I wanted to show that and how you can add them to the toolbox. Just make the toolbox into a pocket. You guys, there is there is a whole card class for this bundle, but there's limited packets. So if you wanna get involved with the card class, um, there's a link in the description and there's just a few packets left. All right, I have to do some liquid glue, but we're gonna do it carefully because we don't want it seeping through the pegboard and gluing our easy easel closed. So grab your liquid glue and do just a couple of lines, really thin, center of the card, make sure that there's no glue above the ruler. Now, if you wanted to put this on a piece of copper clay that is a, about the same size or maybe a little bit bigger, you wouldn't have it like the pegboard that you could see through, but you would have pegboard that the glue won't seep through. So if you're concerned about the glue and you wanna first glue this to some copper clay or maybe even a piece of basic white that's the same size or gray that's um, gray granite that's the same size, you could do that. And then you don't have to worry about where your glue's at. But here we're gonna add the wrench. So we wanna add glue to the bottom half of the wrench. And we're gonna put that on our pegboard. Once we've got that on our pegboard, then I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna lift, and I'm gonna add just a bit more glue where I know it's not gonna glue my card closed. So just a little bit. And we're gonna do the same for our pliers, our squeezers. These are pliers. The <laughs> reverse tweezers are squeezers. And we're gonna add that to our pegboard. I know, I had to show you how to make them working squeezers, but now I gotta glue them down. And then the drill, we're gonna go to the bottom half of the drill, we'll add it at an angle. So we can still come back and put a little more glue on the ruler. And we know that we're not squeezing glue out the back of our pegboard because we just added it in between the holes in the pegboard. What are you doing home? I didn't want to do hair anymore. Oh, okay. Violet says hello everybody. Hi. <laughs> All right, there is our tools. Now, happy Father's Day. Let me get my mini dimensionals because we're gonna have to make up the depth of the leather. Will you turn that off? It's killing me. I'm too hot. Thank you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is half of minis and I'm gonna go like above and below and above and below just along the um, leather here so that it supports the paper even with that trim underneath. Remove the liners. And so it's trapped in between, but now the paper is brought up to the same level as the leather. Oh, <laughs> stuck to my finger and flung it. Rhonda says, hi, Violet. Uh, Nancy says, hello, she missed you today and hope all is good. You missed, you missed Mrs. Clark earlier today. <laughs> Nancy says, OMG, for a second I thought Charlie Brown's teacher was on your channel. <laughs> I was singing to you, serenading. All right, happy Father's Day. And yeah, I think that's about right. Now for our hardware. I love my take your pick tool for these little fiddly bits. I'm going to grab my putty end. I'm gonna pick up a hardware. 
I'm going to take my liquid glue. I'm gonna squeeze a little bubble of liquid glue. This is the key right here. This is the important part. So we got that little bubble and we're just gonna hold that little bubble there because if you've got a bubble of glue, then you can dot just a little bit of glue and it stays stuck right to the putty tip. If you don't have that little bubble of glue there, then the tip of your glue bottle is going to be sticky. You know how that liquid glue is, this one. It's sticky and it doesn't really dry entirely, so then you get kind of a glue booger at the tip of the bottle. And then what happens is you've got a putty tip and you've got a glue booger, and then you're passing the screw back and forth between the two tools. So really important to pause, get a little bit of wet glue, just a little bit at the end of the bottle, and then just touch. If it's too much glue, you can always share the glue. So I've got the little um, nut, <laughs> trying to remember the name of hardwares. And so you can just touch a little bit of that glue to the nut and share. So we're gonna add the little screw or the bolt, whatever that one is. And then I will take this little guy, pick it up, turn it over, and then use my little putty tool to place it. And if you're having trouble, like the putty wants to hold onto the bolt, see? Then that's where you come in with the other end, take out the pick tool and hold it with the pick. Pull the putty away. So the awesome tool, especially when you've got some um, good good tips on how to use it best. All right, there's our little hardware. Last up, these cork rounds. You're gonna have plenty left over after you make your card club projects. And we're going to add quite a few because that's how I roll. I love the texture of the cork with the leather and the diamond plate. And we're gonna put this other cork on the ruler here and normally I might go like diagonal so it goes from one corner to the other but because of the easel if you put them on the screw paper they'll be on the back of the card and so when it's displayed as an easel I want it to show so right on the ruler there and then all my awesome cork rounds show now we've got happy father's day on the inside you're the most awesome dad and then when it's easeled you get Happy Father's Day, Dad. All right, you guys, I hope you love you, Kiko Daro's card. Please go back to the craft social and share your easel card. You'll see a picture of this and invitation to share. There will be prizes. You have until Thursday to share your easel card. But also go over there too and leave you, Kiko, some love, all right? She totally inspired this project with her card and her generous measurements you'll see right here kitchen table steamer craft social is facebook.com slash groups slash kitchen table steamer craft social you'll find yukiko's card right in the pinned um, section the featured section look at that she shared the measurements with us and everything so leave her some love i will right next to hers pin my card and invite you to share there too so please um do if you've if you think of it, if you're hanging around the craft social, give you give you Kiko some love for sharing. And um, if you want to join us for the Trusty Tools Card Club, first come, first serve, link is in the description. I will not be live tomorrow at noon, but I will be back next Friday. I am gonna take a day off with Easter coming up here and all the stuff I have to do to prepare for um, the Mexico incentive trip. I'm just gonna take a little break tomorrow you guys, so I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you next Friday. Please let me know if you're interested in In Color Club. Have you guys seen the new In Color? Should you want to see? I'll grab them real quick and show you. I'm sure you've all seen them by now. I, I will um, before, I don't know, before I leave for Mexico, before, I don't know, before too long, I'll do the color comparison. You guys know I always do a color comparison video for In Colors. I like to do against the core colors and against any retired colors that I own. So I do like to show that. So I will do the in color comparison video here soon. This is Pretty in Pink. This is Shy Shamrock. 
So if you want to collect in colors with us and learn how to use them with the current core colors, that's gonna be the point of our, our in color club, please email me and let me know. Um, this one is Petunia Pop. This is Peach Pie. And this one is, hold on, I can't get it. It's Summer Splash, but it doesn't want to come out of the, this is Summer Splash. Those are our new incoming in colors. So let me know if you're interested in an in color club. We'll have a um, in color club and then an I want it all in color club is what we're thinking. And the in color club will focus on um, making color buddies and where does this fit in in the current and using them using them with other colors, not just making one card in Summer Splash, all Summer Splash, and one card in all Peach Pie, and one card in all Petunia Pop. You could probably do that one without my help. Instead, what we're gonna be doing is using each of the colors and, and finding them some color buddies. So if that interests you, let me know. If there's enough interest, we'll scramble and get it done, uh, but we have to get it done before we leave for Mexico, so that's where we're, we're running up against it. So I need to know that you love um, the idea and that you'd be interested, okay? Um, <laughs> Chances reminds me of Candy Dots colors, right? It, they're just happy in colors. I've wanted to do a in-color club since um, like pandemic time, you know, when we first got, and then there was all the supply chain issues, so I didn't touch in-color clubs. Um, but this this color combination, this or this in colors have really got me inspired to do it. I want to do it so I can play with them, but only if that's going to be you know something that you guys are interested in and make it the, the time worthy. Sally's interested. Thank you. All right. Um, Nancy says, relax and enjoy your weekend. Happy Easter, everyone from Tony. Happy Easter, everyone from Kitchen Table Stamper too. We love you guys. Um, Gail says, thank you, love the easel card. You're very welcome. Totally you, Kiko. So leave her some love. Um, Jan says, love all your tips and tricks. Thank you. Um, Kathy says, off to watch the replay. It'll be available right away. Um, and then a clean recorded video will be posting in just minutes here because it's already ready already. Um, let's see here. Trish says, I love that tool you're using. I have fat finger syndrome. Yeah, the take your pick tool will really help with that. All right, you guys. I am so grateful for the time that you chose to spend with me today. Thank you. You guys always lift me up. I will be back next Friday. I'm working tomorrow. I'm just not going to go live. So if you need me, reach out. Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com um, to get uh, into card club for April the links in the description below and if you want to um, let me know your thoughts about in color and in color club you can message Marissa Alvarez on Facebook that one's got more likely for me to see it um, or Marissa at kitchen table stamper.com and of course to shop 24 7 Marissa Alvarez dot thanks for watching everybody Oh, Mar Marla says, cute card, can't wait to give it a try. I hope you will. And if you try and share in the craft social, you'll be eligible for Prize Patrol. Because it's a holiday weekend, we usually go from Thursday to Tuesday. We'll go from Thursday to Thursday this week, all right? So if you give this a try, you'll see this, the pictures for this one posted in just a few minutes. If you give the easel, easy easel card a try, um, share there. All right, guys, have a great weekend and a happy Easter, everybody. I'll see you next week.